Alright, now this is going to be my video on kind of giving tips and techniques that I used to do this gem path without losing the Aku Aku mask you pick up about halfway through. Um, so this first portion is pretty basic, just, you know, jump your way across, don't worry about breaking those boxes, just trigger the TNTs. I like to ride this cart because it gives you a little bit of security because you don't have to worry about that carts and it lines it up to where it times it perfectly. So. At this point you should have 54 boxes when you get on this green gem platform. Now this portion right here is probably the hardest slide jump in the game. And um, yeah, if you don't, when you spin that rat, if he doesn't break that bounce box, it kind of sucks, but yeah. So anyway, if you don't make this jump, like if you feel like you're not gonna make it, just turn around into that wall and do a belly flop and then keep crouched down and crawl back under and it'll give you you'll be able to do another like you'll get another chance. So and believe me, you'll know if you're not gonna make it. So now this is the way I do that. So I slide under and then I just bounce these top ones. I just think it's the safest way to do it. So this is a different uh, run than the one I actually got insanely perfect on, but I still did this portion perfect in my opinion. So That part's kind of difficult, but just make sure you're moving yourself up and down on the pole so you don't hit the electricity. Now here's the mask we're going to keep all the way through now. So when we get on this platform, we're just going to spin this box. Do not try to jump on it because you will fall off the platform. Jump across here and just wait, then do a high bounce off the TNT with a double jump to land there and spin him. Quickly run across these, double jump over the nitros. Now it is only necessary to single jump onto these tracks, but I double jumped for some reason. Get on the empty cart, wait for the electricity, jump across, double, jump across, double. Now we're going to wait until we see the rat, and we're going to double jump over it and land back on the mine cart that's empty. Timing is a little hard to get, but once you do it a couple times, it's pretty easy. So we just wait till we see the empty cart coming the other way and jump across to get that. And quickly jump your way across. That, I don't really know that I have a tip for. You just kind of got to go by feel, know when to jump. It's really, I don't, I don't, that's all I've got for you. So here, you're going to want to go as quickly as possible. As soon as you know you can run on this wall, you need to jump on it. Because otherwise you'll hit the electricity and it'll take away your mask. Or kill you. I don't know what happened right there. I'm pretty sure I was off the platform, but I didn't die, so... So this yellow gem part is probably the hardest part of the entire gem path. We're going to have a um, rat with a shield up coming up here that is standing right next to Nitro Crate. So when you spin him, he's going to explode the Nitro, so you need to back away as quickly as possible. Now next we're going to kill two more, another rat and another roach, and then we're going to do a pretty difficult jump, but as long as you're looking at the bottom where the little yellow circle is on the ground and land on that ledge, you'll be fine. Bounce on the TNT and grab the swinging pole to get across. That's where you would typically lose your mask because of the electricity. So I like to jump across that way so I don't have to pass through the bouncing block more than once because that bouncing block sucks. So once the block stops bouncing, you're going to see the particles on the arrow, and that's kind of what I time my jump off of. When I see those particles, that is when I jump and push uh, the direction to the left. So I just stand there and study for a bit and then do it. You just do not want to get hit by the box on the down because it will kill you. So at the end of this, when you step on this blue, you should have 115 boxes, and that will be all of the boxes in the entire pack. Now this is the easiest part, but it can still kill you, so just be careful. You're going to stand on top of a minecart and just ride it through the path. You'll get the first Wumpa Fruit gem, and then you're going to have to jump off the minecart over a little gap. Just don't jump too early because you can see you don't have a lot of headroom, so make sure that you are clear from the ceiling before you jump, or else you will die and fall into the pit. So that's my tips and techniques on how to get through this without losing your mask, getting all the boxes, and of course getting the hidden gem.